Hello and welcome to Arca at Pocono. It is old Pocono, so it's a little less smooth. It's pretty darn bumpy. Um, we've got Jacob in here hitting the turn on YouTube. I've watched a number of his videos, and uh, I don't know if I've been able to race him before, so this is pretty cool. Um, he's, I was just talking about him about shifting. Uh, he's saying that he is not shifting until later in the run. Uh, I've been shifting from the start in turns one and three. Um, he was mentioning it was uh, trying to limit wheel spin, which it does get pretty uh, pretty unsettled. On fr oh, ooh, speaking of unsettled, a little unsettled um, off the corners for sure. Once you shift, but I think um, you know early on. I'm going to shift still, uh, keep it on the right rear, so this is just my, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, I'm gonna, still going to shift, keep it on the right rear, and just make sure I'm being very careful on the throttle pedal. And we'll see how it goes. Pocono is usually pretty difficult for me, I will be honest with you. And it's, it's very interesting how different Legacy Pocono is compared to modern Pocono. When you race this car on it, it it's, it's a whole different feel even though it looks very similar. Hard to even dis describe, it's just uh, bumps really get to you. And uh, can make it for... can make it really... Uh, hard to get the car to go where you want it to go. And uh, as is often the case here as well. Well, I take the tunnel turn. Uh, as is often the case here as well, you really gotta slow down for the corners even though the track is a million miles wide. So it can, it can be deceptive too. It's a very interesting place for sure. I have a love-hate relationship with this place. <laughs> Because there's things I like about it, and there's things that I detest. <laughs> so, um, it can be really sketchy racing for sure. When you're around others. Let me get this rotating. That's too much. Too much rotating. Ah, got loose. Tried to push it a little bit more for lap two, but... Not so much good happened there. Lewandowski's in here, so that's, uh, well, <laughs> good luck, everybody. But we'll see what we can do. My best lap is actually better than this qualifying lap. That makes me feel halfway competent, but I am not hitting that lap right now, that's for sure. That was a stinker, this next one was. But at least I got a decent first lap. From a 372 to a 508. Ew! <laughs> but at least the first lap was decent enough. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, just about managing the throttle pedal and. Making sure you're slowing it down enough. Tunnel turn is just evil. You really got to make sure the car's pointed in the right direction, or you will hit the wall at some point <laughs> in the tunnel turn. You know what? I think I forgot to change my brake bias. That probably didn't help. Maybe I remembered. I don't. Actually, you know what? I think I did remember. I just I do it so second nature now. Whenever I load into a session, I'm like, all right. Steering, yeah, you know what? I definitely did because my steering offset's correct. <laughs> I would have noticed immediately that the steering offset wasn't correct. So, no, I, I got that taken care of. So, no excuses for me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I overdrove. I think I just tried to get a little bit too much the end of the session. during the qualifying session, which is over already, by the way. That was very quick. So, looks like we'll be, uh, Ready to go! What'd I get? Third? Nice. And, uh, Jacob decided not to qualify. Might not be a terrible idea. Um, 
like I said, things can get sketchy here when you're racing side by side. I'm going to clean my glasses real quick. A little inside lore of my channel. I wear glasses. Ooh, the secrets are revealed. All right. <laughs> P3. That's uh, pretty good. I think I really want to have track position. Um, I wish Jacob luck. I just I feel like it can be very frustrating to pass because you know you get the inside of someone, someone gets the run on the outside. You get the outside of someone, then someone gets the inside lane for the entry of the corner, and then you have to like take the corner a little softer. I don't know. In my experience, it was really. Uh, bit of a headache having to get around people and give each other room and stuff especially through the tunnel turn good lord don't go too wide in the tunnel turn you'll both have a bad time <laughs> I swear or at least I don't know how to handle it or something because every time I do it I lose like a second it feels like after going super slow through the tunnel turn and then you know you got every straightaway is a mile long here it feels like so, all right, we will do session last lap. Uh, my tire saving strategy, quote unquote, is the shifting. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep it on the right rear doing that. And that's why I'm doing it from the start. And then, of course, just trying not to overdrive the corners. I'm hoping, really hoping that we can get some space. Lewandowski with a nice uh, Wood Brothers car. I like that. I think I've seen that before, but I... Every time I see it, I'm like, wow. <laughs> but we also got the two in here. I did a race last night that was not very many people signed up. It was kind of like a practice race for me because it usually takes me a little bit longer to get the hang of Pocono because it's so weird. This place is so weird. <laughs> so weird to drive. Triangles and whatnot. So I just felt like I wasn't quite ready and it was low strength of field. And so I kind of used that race just to really focus in and uh, try to learn some things and that's where I kind of discovered the shifting I really liked the shifting I gained some time doing that so that's where I am at the moment get the best view in the house of the leader here so we should hopefully be able to get a good jump looks like a second year start oh definitely yeah don't blow my motor <laughs> Testing to see if I need first gear. So, back in time at Old Pocono, we are today. Thank goodness there are no caution laps, because caution laps are dreadfully boring here. Since you drive for them two miles or whatever, how long, however long this place is, two and a half. Longest straight away. In NASCAR, I believe. The front stretch is, so. When you're doing pace laps, it takes a while. Anyway, enough about that. Let's watch for the jump. I heard the guy on the outside is his guess, and I thought it was the leader, and I almost jumped early. Not a bad. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Don't move. Don't do something stupid. Oh, Still that there. Close. So he gets around on the outside. We are clear. So we will file in behind. All right, a little sketchy there for sure. I got loose and thankfully uh, didn't get into the dude. I think uh, a big part of being having a good run here is going to be driving within yourself, not getting on the gas too hard, not driving in too hard, not trying to do too much. Feels like that's a big part of it. Get it shifted.
let the lower gear do the work in terms of revving it up. You know, if we if we can just keep up these guys for a minute, I will be a okay. All right, made the tile turn pretty good there. Modulate that throttle pedal. Feels good. All right, I did see my internet get weird for a second. I want that to stop immediately. Q bar has a little bit of a green sliver. Thank you. Please leave. Appreciate that. There we go. Good runoff. Feeling a little bit more comfortable because we got some room behind. A little bit of space. Breathe a little bit. Just making sure I'm hitting the line in any corner I'm in. It's a big part of it. Alright, long race here. It's gonna feel like a long race, even though it's only 20 laps, because every lap is so long. I like doing the feathering of it like that. Kinda gets it pulling to the left a little bit on throttle like the way that feels. I don't know if I'm killing the tires compared to the guys around me or what. Um, I really don't know if I'm doing good on that front or not. We're going to find out, but um, I'm going to do what I need to do to get around this track and then worry about that later. This is one of those tracks where, first and foremost, I'm worried about getting around it safely. Tire saving is an afterthought for me. That was a bad corner. Got loose. Keeping up okay. But we got the guys behind us, too, also keeping up. Looks like the top five is all broken away. Oh, we overdrove it. I missed my brake marker a little bit. That hurts the tunnel turn. This kills the crab. I do enjoy having to fight the looseness on exit that shifting provides. I typically really like shifting in oval racing. I've kind of learned that about myself. Like, if it's an option, I kind of like going for it. Even though maybe I shouldn't. But I do feel like it is helpful here. Oh, I am falling off a little bit. Maybe I need to take a Turn one, a little wider. Looks like I'm taking it more shallow than about everybody else. Maybe I should be doing that. A little bit better in the tunnel turn there. Ooh, Dowski got really close to the wall. I don't know if he hit it or not, but I thought I saw like some dust flying up. Loose again, man. I thought I was fighting through it well enough, but... Oh, we, we got a little bit of space behind, though. Must have been some sort of trouble. Got tight or something, maybe. I forgot that I wanted to take the corner a little wider this time. It's alright, we'll try it next lap. We got Mike behind us, too. I've had a number of good races with him. He's very... Always been very kind. Talk to him. Uh, 
starts feeling a little bit tighter. I swear I saw that like smoke again. He's probably just so precise that he's able to put it there. All right. Well, we're kind of <laughs> getting space in front and behind us. We might be settling into third place here. For now, anyway. But what if we take this second lane? What happens then? Looks like we're a little bit faster to me. So you get a better runoff. Looks like the color green I'm seeing up there. So maybe we will do a little bit more of that. Pretty good tunnel turn there. At least compared to the last lap. Again, fighting that loose, but just not quite steady enough. Then again, we are pulling away behind. Those two guys up there, they just really got figured out, I think. They really got the Pocono figured out. They know what a triangle is. Scalene, isosceles, equilateral, they know all about it. Uh, really close to the wall? I swear. I, I'm gonna keep saying it because I keep thinking I see him in the wall, but I don't think he was again. I think he was just maximizing the corner. Loose again. I swear, I'm like, alright, I nailed it, and then I look and I'm like, I'm dropping. <laughs> like I'm getting red at the top. And I feel like, man, I thought I did good. You know, on one hand, I'm like, well, this is a little bit boring. We've kind of driven away from the guy behind and am not catching up to the people in front. But on the other, actually, oh, no, let me finish this thought. But on the other hand, I'm like, I'm so glad I'm not side by side with someone right now. But what I was gonna say is, I think there's just some weird markings on the wall that I keep thinking are little puffs of smoke. And that's why I keep thinking someone in front of us is in the wall, but they're just little paint marks on the wall. That's how goofy I am. Uh, how brain dead I am while racing, apparently. Man, Harrison's going up there catching Thomas. This is going to be a good battle to watch, I think. I might have front row seats to a good one. A little tight and tunnel turn. Yeah, look at the, there's little white markings on the wall. That's what I keep seeing. There they go. Remarkable consistency from them. I know I'm not being perfect consistency-wise. And it's making me lose some time. I don't feel like I'm doing too bad, but they... I'm not seeing hardly any mistakes out of them. They're quite good. I guess that's why they're the number one and two, huh? I guess there's a reason that happens. Pretty good corner there. Happy with that. Got the runoff I needed. Counter steered well I'm enough sorry, to keep dude. it from getting sideways. Someone says sorry. I heard Jacob's doing. I hope he's having a good race. Maybe I'll check in a moment. When I'm not in the hardest corner on the on the course. In my opinion. I feel like 
if, if people were polled on it, though, they'd probably say turn two is the hardest one right here. So I'll turn. Jacob isn't 14th. Where did he start again? He started like way in the back because he didn't qualify, so I think he's moved forward. Very nice. Like I said, it's really hard to pass here in my experience, so being able to move forward at all is a good drive. Harrison now just point three away from the leader up there, though I am falling away. Hoping to keep this gap behind us from Mike as well. Liked that corner. Be good. Oh no! Something happened. He must have hit the wall or something. He's falling back to fifth. Oh no! Hate to see it. Unless you're the 10 car who passed him. And I guess it's a little pressure off of me, but I want Mike to have a good run. He's still up here, though, it looks like. Still uh, in the top five, that's still a good run. Car's definitely getting tighter. Oh, that number two is up there. What if they wreck each other? Whoa. Think about that. That'd be crazy, right? I don't know this for sure, but I'm pretty certain I have not won a race at Pocono ever. If you can believe it. <laughs> That would be interesting. Got lots of space behind us now. And in front of us. Man, it's a lonely out here. Maybe they'll fight each other and bring themselves back to me. Gotta keep, uh, keep trying to be consistent. Just in case, because, you know, being side by side here, particularly through certain tunnel-like corners, you can lose a whole bunch of time, so I gotta keep making sure I'm hitting my marks and not getting loose on exit like that. So you never know. You never know what can happen. New Lewandowski is very good. Now, obviously, the two is very fast, but I'm not familiar with the two. Maybe he is fast but dangerous. Who knows what can happen here? That was a good corner. Oh, yes. Give me the drive off, please. Oh, missed the angle. That is unfortunate. That's a whole tenth I lost compared to last lap in that sector. Dude's making the pass. Look at that. Oh, they're side by side. We got four laps to go. What's gonna happen? I hope they don't disappear into the distance so I can watch this race. Fold. They're about just under two and a half seconds. Oh, are they going too wide through the tunnel turn? That is gonna gain me a whole bunch of time. Okay, Colton, you're reeling. Especially Dowski. if I take the tunnel turn, turn, turn better. Doing Dowski at the wall. That time for sure he did. That was not paint on the wall. Or lack thereof, that was a wall hit. Not enough for me to do anything about it though. That's for sure. 
Don't hit the wall yourself. And they're not side by side anymore. So they're probably just gonna drive away again. Oh well. Good consistency. Keep it coming. I think I've been shifting a little bit too early out of turn one. It seems like if I stay in third gear a little bit longer, it's giving me a better runoff. Wish I had been doing that sooner. Thomas gonna have anything for him still. He's still pretty darn close to him up there. Into the throttle. Ah, uh, drifting, drifting out of the corner. What am I doing? He's almost back on him. Oh boy! Very exciting developments. Okay, pretty good turn one there. Oh, they're going too wide through the tunnel turn again. Remember this moment. This moment where two racers who are very good make it through the tunnel turn too wide without running into each other. Drove entry. Time. Well, maybe the two will make another move on him, but Thomas got back around him. Very impressive. Fun battle to watch up there for sure. We got plenty of breathing room behind us. We're five seconds to the next guy. When was that I shift in turn two? Nothing. Nothing interesting. Yeah, I'm thinking one and three are probably the only turns you want to bother with that. So we'll just wrap. Wrap the car around. Turn three here. And drive it across the line. Good race, good win. It was fun watching you guys battle up there. Nice one. All right, there's chicken flag. <laughs> nice run, solid work. All righty then. We had a exciting battle for the win, and I had a not so exciting drive for third. But it was fun anyway, because we got to fight some loose conditions and uh, pull it in to the bronze medal. Very happy with that, especially as the number four, pretty strong field. So, hooray! Gonna get this all ready for incidents in a moment. Let's see. What did Jacob do? Top 10! Nice. I'm gonna tell him it was nice. Did you get 0x too? 2x. Must have hit a wall at some point. I don't blame him. It's very inviting. 6581. Probably not good. But it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how other people are fairing at it but that's cool that's cool that's cool <laughs> we got ourselves a third and we will see what happened out here uh oh it looks like the 18 maybe got loose on exit it's mostly three spots <laughs> Still counts. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, it looks like the 18 was real slow off the corner. Got into the back of them a little bit. No more of this weed for sure. Definite, definitely. All right, so yeah, it looks like he gets loose, and then fortunately, yeah, it's just right in front of uh, Jacob there, That 18's car is broken. And even more. <laughs> Ooh, we got guys that looks like trying shifting and having trouble with it. Listening in, it sounds like maybe they just got it on it a little bit hard and spun themselves out. Uh, so, Tunnel Turn's gonna take a bite out of someone there. That wasn't that big, though. Mm, 14 gets in the back of the 12. Looks like he took a wider arc, so he was faster mid corner. Well, it's because they entered side by side. So 14's faster mid corner because of the different entries, and then he just runs them over. 12 gets hit from behind, and it's already pretty on edge at that point in the corner, so you couldn't quite gather it up. You too, maybe I'll see you in another one. Hopefully! Oh, he's gone. <laughs> just gonna say, hopefully, I'll see you then. So, there's Mike. Is this what happened to him? I bet it is. Oh, that's a hard hit, too. That must have been when that big gap started showing up. 14, I don't know if you're still in here, buddy. That, I just looked at that. That's definitely all my bad. 14 is still there. Definitely not intentional. Always good to hear guys take uh, ownership of a mistake. You're so good, dude. Oh, man. Oh, Mike's the thing tearing too. the walls down. <laughs> Was this the same one? No, it's not. We're having a rough time. Did you only get a 2x? Sorry, I'm sure. No, I got a 2x. <laughs> Lots of guys getting tight in the corners. Ooh, that's some rumble strip in the tunnel turn. You can't uh, take too much of that or it will send you back up. Lots of tight conditions. Already near the end of this thing, though. Ooh, this might have been what gave Thomas the eventual win. Look at that. Look how he got real tight in the tunnel turn. And he had to get off of it there, and that really helped the one catch up to him. Pretty much all of his lead is gone by the time they get to turn three. Crazy, man. Five in the wall just a tiny bit. Oh, no. Is this the one he was apologizing for? Yeah, it was. The 14 and the 11. Yeah, I'd say that was your fault. <laughs> you just ran him over. Oh, it's a tunnel turn, though. I'm telling you, it's a bad idea. Going through here too wide. Yeah, you just gotta know that if the guy's entering shallow like this in a tunnel turn, he's gonna be so slow on the bottom because he's not gonna make it through the corner unless he slows it down majorly. So, I'm sure he didn't mean to do it. But it takes them both out. Whoa. We had a guy split the middle. <laughs> Was that? Yes, it was. I thought it was. It was Jacob. There are those freebies he was talking about. He's going to split the middle. Woo! Good choice. Found his way past him. And uh, that car is not turning anymore, probably because it is missing a wheel. 18's been having a rough one in his banana car. And then I remember the two did hit the wall, I believe, trying to get everything out of it on the final lap, doing everything he can to try to get first place back, but not to be. And, uh, yes, I believe that is going to be the end. So, 
very happy with that run there. We got ourselves a P3 right where we started. In fact, it looks like a lot of people ended up right where they started. It really doesn't start mixing up until you start getting around ninth here, it looks like. And even then, you got a couple guys right about where they started the race. But uh, you got Jacob moving up seven spots. Like I said, tough to pass here. And even if uh, there were freebies, well done moving forward. We were able to hold on to our P3 and do so with a 0x. So very pleased, very pleased. So that was the tricky triangle, old edition <laughs> in the Arca car. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. It was a it was a fun challenge for me. I will say that. So I will see you next time. Hope you have a good one. And that's all. <laughs>